Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Monday 17th, we have a full moon out there. It's going to be beautiful for walking. Not too cold because right now we're not getting a lot of cold. Uh, taking a look at drought conditions, we have Colorado getting better in the mountains last time, staying kind of bad on the plains, but going to this week have more relief in the mountains. So many of the areas that were in the uh, extreme drought category have backed down to abnormally dry. The snowpack is really tremendous. So nationally, going from last week to this week, you see more of the west kind of coming out of some of the drought conditions that they've been in. And it's just a great time that's doing it. Uh, taking a look at the snowpack, we've gone from below average two weeks ago to average to above average. So, yeah, that's, that's great news as well. And going to this week, it's even higher. So now it's much above average because the plains finally picked up some snow as well. And there's the precipitation we got, some really heavy liquid amounts here. This is not snow depth. This is liquid melted snow so we're up at five six inches up here that's that's colossal uh, areas around boulder and uh, like that are in the half inch to inch area gave us our five inches or so of snow uh, taking a look nationally on wednesday a little snow in the pacific northwest heavy rain on the coast a little bit of snow and lake effect snow up in the uh, great lakes and some stuff right down in florida and speaking of Florida, the only place we have any convection at all, any thunderstorms, is right here on the uh, southeast coast in the Keys. For Thursday, it's a little bit further southeast, and then no thunderstorms at all nationally on Friday. Doesn't mean there won't be some weather, because Friday afternoon we do have a vigorous trough coming down with due north winds plowing down into the state with a ridge on either side. Taking a look at the snow though, it's going to be starved for moisture. It's moving so quick that it's not going to get a hold of this good, rich, uh, tropical uh, gulf moisture. Uh, so we have mountain snows over here. We'll look at that cl more closely in just a moment. So t temperature definitely plummets with this. We go from above average down to the uh, bottom average for a high in there, right in the middle. And then temperatures go up into the um, upper window. The GFS ensemble has a lot of uh, precipitation, good chances for just a little bit there. Scattered stuff later. So the big event is Friday. That's our one chance for some good stuff. Let's take a look at it happen. And from Thursday into Friday, you see the trough whisking its way down, zipping across the state. Big ridge right behind it's a giant high pressure system off of the Southern California coast kind of cuts off in the southeast and then they've got a big snowstorm to worry about next week and we just get northwest flow and uh, ridging to our west a little bit of ripple passing us to the south looking at temperatures we start way above normal that's the reds blues and purples are below normal so you don't have to worry about uh, elevation and things like that and there comes our cold front for the end of the week cold air spreading down and it's out just about as quickly as it came where you got warm air right behind it the mountains have some snow so you got some cold pa patches remaining back here from Idaho to Colorado there's another big slime of cold coming down but it slides past us heading for the east okay and precipitation wise I'll just go up to this first storm you see here's Friday it zips right in there, northern mountains, mountains, central mountains, snow out on the plains, and then it gathers itself down to the southeast. Now it's ice in here in the pink, and heavy snow going up into New England. So for the next five days, we have maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch uh, precipitation Friday, maybe only a five hundredths of an inch. It's low, but there's a little bit there. Going to the next 10 days, it really doesn't change. So like a little spot appears there. So beyond this storm, we are dry and quiet again. Looking at the next five days for snow, stuff in the mountains a little bit possible along I-25, Fort Collins, and out around Palmer Divide and Denver. It's not much. Next 10 days, 
little bit in the southwest, but really little change. So we rocket through in the 50s, low 50s, bounce of this week. Cold front comes in on Friday, giving us a, I'm giving a 40% chance of uh, precipitation, snow, chilly and dry on Saturday, and then right back to what we are calling usual and normal right now, uh, above normal temperatures, partly cloudy skies, and little chance of any precipitation. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmont Leader or Broomfield Leader, I need to put that on there, .com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.